Denver Broncos Mile Live View, no commercials, no bullshit. Today I'm doing film review on offensive tackle Jackson Kirkland. 6'7", 310 out of Washington. Here's a guy that, um, since we traded all of our draft picks for a fucking quarterback, because people are so obsessed with the quarterback nowadays, they don't look at any other position besides that. Um, here's a guy that kind of reminds me a lot of... Uh, Riley Reef coming out of Iowa um, kind of has his stature, kind of have it, kind of has his uh, playability. Um, also, to all the people that um, say we got to do better with film, number one, I have another job outside of this, so get that through your fucking head, Jones. And number two, what other online platform or uh, any of the STR platforms provide you guys film? So maybe you guys should think of that before you comment that. Jones, you fucking asshole. So here's a guy, Jones. I'm going to talk about his pros. He's very uh, power-centric. Um, he has a little bit of ag agility in to his game. He s does struggle in pass pro, um, but I believe with proper coaching and proper player development, he can get good in this league. Um, I do have issues with his hand placement. Um, that's a guy that this Jackson Kirkland does need a lot of development. Um, but I would take a chance on him in the second round, just like a Trevor Penning. Um, he, Jackson Kirkland, his pro is also his pros is that he's a very sound run defender, or my apologies, run blocker. Um, his ability to get to get to the second level is one of the best out there. I'm going to pause it right here. Um, just the way that he's able to uh, get to the second level with certain things is one of the best out there. Um I look, I think you could play him at left or right tackle, but I think if you're going to run the football, I would strictly put him at right tackle. Um, I'd put him next to Quinn Miners on the right side and run the rock on that side. But with Russell Wilson and this mishmess offense, I don't know what we're going to run. Um, but anyway, he is a very uh, physical uh, runner um, to a uh, run blocker. Um, he doesn't uh, allow a lot of people to get away from him in run blocking. But you see right here, he does get beat with the Swiss move from Aiden Hutchinson, one of one of the top prospects in this year's draft. Um, but Jackson Kirkland is a guy that, um, if you were a proper player development team, I would take a chance on him. Um, you know, his feet alignment needs to be improved. But uh, with guys that get proper development, they can clean that up. Um, number 51, um, he he does struggle with the pass pro. And also, he, I think an, an underrated strength of his is he is very agile for a guy his size. For 6'7", 310 pounds, he is very good in, at the agile stage of his career. Um, I think that's one of the most underrated aspects of his game. Um, but again, he, he's a very physical run blocker. Um, right here, he doesn't really get... Uh, into the guy that was Kaylee on Ch Chase on, I believe, or K Kevin Thibodeau, my apologies. So, uh, yeah, he, he has a lot of ifs for, with him, but now that you traded all your premium picks, these are the guys you're going to have to look at to develop.